I got into a nasty argument with a loved one recently because I shared my thoughts about a decision that she was getting ready to make. Her response, her words, they cut like a knife. There I was offering my wisdom (laughs) that God had given me from falling and getting back up, making the same decisions that she was making. I was not only being rejected, but my character was being questioned. This highly contentious phone conversation ended abruptly with me being called the H word. It's the word no Christian ever wants to hear. It's the ultimate dis word for those pursuing God. It's what you hope to never be viewed as, especially in the sight of those that God has positioned you around to be an example to. And hearing that dreaded word, hypocrite, can make you feel like a failure. She called me a hypocrite because of a business decision that I made that she didn't believe aligned with what a Christian should be involved in. And because of this, she felt I had no right to say anything pertaining to what she was getting ready to do. I spent the following day praying and asking God to heal me from this offense and remove the anger that I felt towards her. Forgiveness and getting over offenses is something that I learned must be fought for and diligently sought after. There's a reason that Jesus taught his disciples to pray and ask God the Father to forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And he also gave us the warning that God doesn't forgive us if we don't forgive those who offended us. The truth is, the worst thing that anyone has ever done to us is not worse than how we've sinned against God. Yet, he died for our sins. Every time I felt that anger rise up, I prayed. I needed to be free. But freedom came in a way I never expected and in an area I didn't realize I was bound. As I kept asking God to help me forgive, He answered, and he said, the reason I'm offended is that I was not secure enough in who I am in him and what he had called me to do, and that this was the real issue. You see, people will always have something to say, especially if you're serving God, and not everyone will understand everything God leads you to do. So as long as I made an idol of not being understood or needing people to agree and approve of what I do, I was positioning myself to be offended. You see, nobody owes me understanding. What she said really wasn't the problem. It was my lack of being firmly grounded in my identity in Christ. Because when you are, no opinion or verbal assault on your identity should move you and the will of God is for his children to be unmovable when God revealed this to me I shifted from being angry about this argument to being grateful for this opportunity to grow and become stronger the Bible says this in Jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 8 blessed is the one whose trust is in the Lord whose confidence is in him They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its root by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green and has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Meaning that when your identity and confidence is in God, it is like being a firmly planted tree with rich roots fed by living water and that no matter what comes whether it be turmoil rough seasons or offense you are able to continue to prosper and be fruitful i couldn't afford to let a word keep me angry or distant from god or distracted from what he called me to do 
I found myself uttering these words recently, and that is, I'm good with who God made me to be, and I genuinely meant it.